Some, some matches in the other organizations, but uh, yeah, but it generally it their best fights were in M1, and now each, each, uh, they, they are the toughest test today for, for each other. So that, that's going to be Well, Divinic fought for M1 in his last four fights and earned stoppage wins in each of them. He even won knockout of the night for that vicious finish over Max uh, Koga back in M1 Challenge 48. That was a vicious finish. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That's actually interesting because in his three last fights, Maxim got fight of the night, then KO of the night, then submission of the night. So Very impressive fighter. And I'll tell you, as someone who lives in North America, he's actually a fighter who's gotten some recognition over there for his abilities and his finishes. You see them on UCBC. What he's capable of, and you, people love this sort of excitement from a fighter. But like you said, Karbanov is not exactly the easiest of stylistic matchups oh, for him at no, all. Not at all. This is almost a classic striker versus grappler matchup, but Karbanov is also quite good on his feet. <laughs> yeah, he, he is good. Uh, he, he is good with the leg kicks, with the with the uppercuts, with the overhand rights. It's his yeah. That that's what he that's what he usually throws. And yeah, if this fight goes to the ground, there, there, there is a, a weak, probably weak point of uh, in Mac Maxim's defense is uh, he, he sometimes he gives his back quite, uh, quite easily. So no one knows if this fight will go to the ground, if he has improved, uh, if Maxim has improved enough not, not to let his opponent to take his back and. Uh, Go for submission or not, so it, it has to be seen. It will be very interesting to see because Carlyle, all his finishes have come by way of submission. So you know, once he goes down, he's going to latch onto something immediately. Yeah. 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 That's exactly what he's doing. Oh, well done. Match rolled out, reverses, but he's still on bottom. He's still on the bottom. not letting go. And I think Urbanov, you know, feels fine. That's, that's exactly where he wants to be. Oh, definitely. You can see him posturing up and getting ready either to throw yeah. more strikes yeah. or move into a better position. Definitely yeah. moving into a better position. And he's trying to pass the guard and he almost succeeded. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's a tough, tough spot for Maxim. He really, really cannot stay there. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how he can handle being on the bottom. He does not appear to be very comfortable at all right now. Oh yeah. This okay. is exactly where he doesn't want to be in this fight. Oh and yeah. Well if, 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 yeah. If, if there is any place where he doesn't want to be, that's exactly that he doesn't want to be on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a finisher. He wants to be standing and going for a knockout. Yeah. Uh, as, as we can see, uh, Jumbo Kurbanov is, is, is a very good, good wrestler. Very good. Overall, very good fighter and especially wrestler because because he, wrestler and grappler because he, he was working with the with the best wrestlers and grapplers in Czech Republic. He he had like if you learn from the best in the region, you become one of the yeah, best. Yeah, in the region. you know he had like 
any 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 possibilities to work with with anybody he wants, you know, to prepare for, for, for this fight. Yeah. In public. So if, if he needed wrestlers, they gave him yeah. wrestlers and everything. So oh, now now he's still trying. To he's got one leg through and he's still trying to get through the fight control. But he's staying active on the ball and he's throwing punches to the ear. And each of those punches, they might be short shots, but each one affects so Max Jones. Each one is making him more and more uncomfortable. Yeah, of course, it's a cumulative effect that, yeah, you, you, you cannot underestimate. Maybe. I'd like to see him mix it up and go for shots to the body as well. Because Maxim is not even thinking about keeping himself protected. Oh, oh, what a reversal! Great, great, great Now I think you know, just, uh, Max is just going to break away, stand up. Oh! oh. And he went stand up. Yeah, he went stand up because he feels like if, if he doesn't keep his posture, it, it can be very, very dangerous. And uh, he can get caught to guillotine. Oh! What a punch! Great knee to the body. Fantastic knee to the body. You can see it take the wind out of the bottom right there. So it's one. It's exactly one. what we've expected so far from this fight. A nice competitive fight going all different uh, aspects of the sport. Yeah, so far it has lived up to expectations 100%. And you can see Mike seems interested in doing exactly what Corbano did to him. Break him down, but do it on the feet. Stay close to him. Don't let him separate enough to get the takedown. Now, now, now we can see that Divnich, Divnich uh, approach in his corner is like, we, we can see his, his, his Divnich uh, is very, very active. And now, when he's kicked to the body, earlier it seemed he got hit with a shot, he didn't see coming at all there. Yeah, wobbled a little bit. Could have been a loss of balance though. Yeah, yeah, probably so. How much do you think the idea that Corbanov is going to take him down is impacting Maxim's ability to push forward right now and really open up with his punches. So this is not as active as we've seen in the past. Very, very interesting. interesting. That's an interesting question, Karim, because I was, I was, uh, I was talking with, uh, with some of the guys right now from, from, from the locker room. They've been there. They were like, maybe Maxim was a little bit like burning up, like burning out because, because exactly of his concerns that you know he is against very tough grappler and uh, and he, he, he was he was really worried if, if he can if he can keep the fight standing and everything and uh, maybe, maybe his uh, mental state of mind it, it, it wasn't where where it should be and that's why you know start, starting from, from from the first second he didn't look like himself you know he was and, and it, not, not, he didn't feel as free as he usually feels sadly it's an understandable concern you know, that's always especially a strong, really strong grappler, is that his opponent will always be worried or cautious at the very least yeah. about the takedown. Yeah. So it limits the striker's ability unless he himself is a fantastic uh, or at least well-trained wrestler and uh, can defend the takedown. Yes, and so there, there's the only way for them not, not to have these concerns and just to improve their own wrestling skills. Yeah. But so far, so good. Entertaining first round of action. We're back at the second round now. And also, first round was close. I don't, I don't even know. What... Very tough to decide who yeah. took that first round. Kurbanov was good in the first half of the round. Then Dimitri has some, some very good moments in the, in the stand up exchange. So, yeah, no. An American crowd, an American judge would probably give that to Kurbanov for yeah, his control on the ground. So. Uh, his control to try and to pass the guard, yeah, all, all, all the Definitely. activity, all the Far activity. more aggressive for the earlier part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. And again, oh, oh, now Max is going to pass the guard. Do you think that would be something that would break Corbano mentally if he finds out that Dimitri is actually more than capable on the ground and handling everything he throws at him well? Do you think that will impact? Him as mentally when it comes to the game? Uh, maybe, but uh, as, as far as I know, I, I, I've known uh, Jumbo Lat for a long time, and he's a very, very mentally stable guy. You know? it's, it's very few things that, that, that can uh, uh, like make, make him off balance, you know, get him off balance. So I, I think right now he's doing well. I, I'm not too worried about uh, Jumbo Lat's. Uh, 
the st state of mind about his uh, me mental state, but you know about his physical ability. His, his physical ability is, is something that which makes me a little bit worried, you know, because now you, you can see that, you know, he's already worn down yeah, slightly. He's, he's, he's trying to keep the pace, but it's not easy to keep the pace and stand up with, with a guy like uh, Maxim Gimnik, because he's very Yeah, even even though Jungle Lad is uh, uh, a little like is, is a little bit tired, but still he 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 obviously have enough enough gas, you know, to to, to keep on going for, for another another round. And, uh, yeah, he he answers to the strikes. He goes to the to the the balls. He trades punches. So, yeah, both have definitely close. slowed down a little bit, but it's still very, very close here in the second round. Yeah, but I think nobody expected them to keep their pace in all five rounds, because we, we need to remind everybody that it's five round fights, so you, know, you never know, maybe, maybe the guys, they, they just need to save, save some... It's all about the conservation of energy here. Yeah. Attempting any takedown, so as you can see, Dimash is clearly getting a lot more comfortable in his stand up right now. He's coming forward about the same concerns that he had in the first round. Yes, as I say that, Kurban attempts. It's another takedown he's got. Yeah, Dimash is right Kurban leg was, was up quick. and he has him down. Yeah, that, that's his first takedown attempt before he was taken down by Dimash, right? Yeah. And now, now he's in an advantage position. And once again, Kurbanov working his way to get into better position, trying to pass the guard. As we can see, every time when Divnich is on his back, he is experiencing some problems. But so far, Jum Jumbo cannot, cannot find the opening for, for uh, submission. He's just working from top. Maybe now. He is not time. staying active, nearly active enough. I understand he's been switching around trying to get better position, but at the same time, he needs to. Oh, as I say, like the Oh, unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. Seconds to go in the round. And, and again, again, Max, Maxim has to, has to keep his posture if he doesn't want to get caught in the challenge. A couple of shots to the face and one to the body there. And look, oh, he was on the back again. Oh, the last, last 12 seconds. <laughs> the end of the second round. Is, is, is doing better. 
Also, I need, I need to say that Maxim is a very close friend with uh, uh, our possible featherweight contender, Pavel Vitruc, who is undefeated too. And they, they, they both they have uh, sim similar, quite similar style. Yeah. Both, 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 both are strikers, entertaining fighters. Almost, almost every time they get some bonuses <laughs> from every, every, you know. out of his comfort zone. Oh yeah. And straight into the ninja's comfort zone. Look at that. That's exactly it. Punches to the body. Vicious, vicious. Weathered the storm early on from Gurbanov, survived several grueling submission attempts and takedowns only to keep building his confidence and to really fire in the third round. Oh, yeah. Fantastic to see. Makings of a true champion right there. Yeah, so, so he, 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 he just needed to, to get the confidence. To get the confidence in the first round to, just to understand that he can successfully defend against, against John Gurbanov's submission attempt. When he realized that everything's okay, yeah, then, then it was another close, second round, and now the third round, yeah, we, we, we saw that it was the double round from Maxim Dimitri. The momentum should be very clear later in the stages that Kovano was simply not happy with the way the fight was going. He was just losing motivation as it went on and on. And in the third round, he simply curled off and hoped for dear life there. Yeah, yeah but not, 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 not for, for a long time, yeah, for... Seconds. Only a few this. seconds, the referee yeah. stoppage was quick and prompt in this one. All right, see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and new M1 Challenge Lightweight Champion in the third round. In one minute, 20 seconds, by TKO, Maxim. M1 president, Mr. Vadim Finkelstein, grabbing the belt around. That's, that's the first, first belt in history of Alexander Nevsky team from St. Petersburg. Historic but, win then. Yeah, but it might not be the last one because, as I told you, you know, Pavel Vitruk uh, made quite a very impressive. Uh,